Eleanor, Buddy's going to be very upset that you're in his spot. Oh, do you see pigeons? Is it time to feed the pigeons? Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Stephen. It is 9.40 in the morning, and I'm trying to do the impossible, and that is to get a coffee and a bite to eat at Duncan's here. Uh, and meet my friend Linda by 10 o'clock in the morning. It is 9.40. We'll see if that's possible. Linda, I apologize in advance if I'm a couple minutes late. Coffee is very much required this morning, and I had a very difficult time leaving the house this morning. For the usual reason, the cats. Eleanor was on the stairs up to my bedroom, and she just stopped on the stairs as I was walking behind her, and she kind of just flopped over on her side on the stairs, and with her little feet up and I was just powerless. So I had to spend some time hanging out with Eleanor on the stairs. That is my life. Um, guess who made a reappearance? You haven't seen him for a little while. Yeah, Elf on a Shelf. I meant to bring him along everywhere this month. Yeah, guess where he was. I shouldn't tell you this, it's embarrassing. I promised myself I was never gonna eat in my car, right? And guess what happens? Yeah. My passenger seat is basically submerged in crap. Let me, let me see if I can order my coffee. And he was under, he was suffocating under a pile of Taco Bell bags. Poor thing. Good morning. Pardon? Oh, could I get a, a large iced coffee with, um, you know, I just lied to you. Let me, let me think. Um, I, I, I stopped filming because I was embarrassed. I couldn't figure out what I wanted to order at Duncan's. Hot coffee, iced coffee, a breakfast sandwich, blah, blah, blah. Hi, oh, you want money. <laughs> I'm like, I'm sitting behind cars. You'd think I'd know better to pull my wallet out, right? I'm sorry, honey. Good morning. All right. Got some crap in my car. You have such nice energy this morning. Thank you. I'm sure it's all the time, not just this morning. <laughs> Me too. I'm exhausting. That's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. Thank you, honey. Thank you. Thank you. My sandwich is on its way. I got the sourdough sandwich at Duncan's. Look at this thing. It's two eggs, bacon on sourdough toast. It's the size of my head. It's wonderful. Mmm. 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 So good. Oh, <laughs> all right. Linda is with me. <clears throat> I was on time. And uh, is it Stan? Dan. 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 Sorry, Stan. honey. Well, Stan. I'm Thank sorry, you. honey. It's Linda and Dan. I'll show you them later on. But uh, I want to show you the. We're coming up on Red Rock. Oh, all right. You really can't see much. Yeah. Look at the snow <laughs> and the red. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. We made reservations. It. I almost lost the rest of my hair making a reservation. It was so stressful. We used to be able to spend two dollars at the gate, but now you can't even do that. You have to make a reservation. That still costs two dollars. But um, yeah, I'm not going to complain anymore. I have to complain on every video, right? All right, I'll see you up there. Oh, what a beautiful day! Look at those mountains. I still think it's fascinating. You can be out here in a matter of minutes yeah. from downtown Las Vegas. Look at that. Look at that. So it never gets tired. Well, maybe for my subscribers, but for me, it never gets tired. Um, yes, on the way. Oh, 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 that's not a smart move doing a U-turn on a one-way <laughs> um, on the, the way out of here you can go uh, to a uh, little overlook which I've always driven past before do you remember my video about my, the cat Aurora yes. the little kitten yes <clears throat> I buried her out uh, we just passed a Calico um, a Calico Canyon or something that's where I buried that little kitten Aww. it was a kitten that this stray cat had that I just felt so bad and she died and um, I took her out to the desert I took 
buses and then walked out here from so it Vegas. Yeah. yeah. They did. I think I remember that. Buried that cat in the desert because I couldn't throw it in the dumpster. I don't really want to plant it under a uh, bush because no, something will some take animal. It out that yeah. You don't have so I she's buried out here in this beautiful little landscape. Look at how gorgeous this is. All right. All my subscribers will listen to this. <laughs> I'm so boring. All right, that's Dan. <laughs> He's already said hi once, but the video wasn't good. So, And there's Linda. Hi, Linda works for a different airline. And we are out here. And look, look, look. I know you're getting tired of seeing the desert, but man, look. Look at those mountains with the snow. So gorgeous. All right. So nice. And Dan brought his real camera, and I'm out here with my cell phone. And Linda, yes. Beautiful day. We're inside the visitor center, and this is the the viewing area here for Red Rock. And Linda was just saying it looks all the more like impactful. I think because the the framing of the window just makes you look right there and not at the surrounding area. But oh. <laughs> how did you, I could not get down there to do that? It's for children. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're getting bored already of seeing, but I can't get over. Look at the whoop, the snow in the mountains there. Crazy. I am right now at an observation platform here. And, you know, I've been out here before, but I never noticed that uh, when you are looking at these signs here, for example sandstone quarry when you are looking out that is the destination that's actually pointing in that direction turtlehead peak is right there see that dark little triangle in the middle of the frame that's turtlehead peak right there there's a shadow on it willow springs is right over there so this is a little almost a compass of places you want to go to all right. Fantastic. And as usual, it's a beautiful day in Las Vegas. Here's Linda and Dan taking a, a look. Dan apparently is an ast uh, uh, accomplished photographer. <laughs> apparently, I did not know this. Maybe he can take a picture of me where I look good. Oh, beautiful. You know in the news where you hear people die falling to their death because they're taking selfies? Yes. Well. <laughs> I think we're done. Oh. <laughs> Linda is a professional climber. She's she's using her back as a tool to climb, which I've never seen. See, she's a professional. <laughs> she is smiling. It's the face I got. It's a face. It's called RBF, resting bitch face. Bitch face has. I usually turn my corners up. <laughs> I'm always looking like I'm a little half like. <laughs> like I am. I am fascinated by why they would do this. Really, I don't get it. Look at that. It's just crazy. It's a very busy day. There's lots of people here. And there's a whole bunch of people walking down there, and they're playing music as they. Walk. I'm looking at these boulders. Look at how they, they're organized, like some sort of kids' blocks. They must have fallen from up there in some tremendous crash. Kind of crazy. Yeah, let's make our way up. We got lots of places to see. We're over at uh, Sandstone Quarry. There's a little water left over from. Recent rainstorm. <gasps> Look at that dog. It's so cute. Those are cute. 
dogs. He looks very serious. <laughs> <laughs> what cuties! He's dragging his, dragging his leash. Hi, honey. Oh, hi, baby. Hi, honey. You made me think of my cat, Eleanor. <laughs> hi. Yes. So sweet. So sweet. All right. Oh, yeah, that's where I am right now. Oh, just look at this this lichen. Can you see? I'm not sure if the camera can catch it, but it's like fluorescent day glow green. Isn't that wild? It's like spray paint. I was like, oh, it's a graffiti. But, you know, what other YouTuber shows you lichen on a rock? I mean, I know you're interested. You like the lichen? Beautiful. We're walking up to the petroglyph wall. I think you've seen this before. You know, I'm here often. But here we are. Let's go for a walk over there. I'm breathing heavy. <laughs> well, it's a little wet too, so maybe we'll see. Oh, all right, there's. All right, see that? There's like an hourglass shape right there. And I don't see other ones over here. The, uh, the rock is wet and a little dark, so maybe that's why you can't see them. Oh, there's a bunch over there. There's handprints, I think. And you can kind of see like a, almost like a horse or something right yeah. there. Oh, there's the handprints. Mm -hmm. See the handprints right there? And over there, Straight ahead, red. they're carved into the, the dark walls. Those are thousands of years old. One looks like a ship with sails. Did you want to see those the handprints a little closer? Okay. No, that's okay. no, no, I've yeah, seen these. Don't do as I do. I'm breaking the law or the rules. At least um, there's a fence saying that you shouldn't go past it, of course, to get up close to the petroglyphs, but someone else just did it, so I'm going to do it. Um, this is, oh, there's footprints all over here. Other people do it. That looks like a horse to me or a figure on a horse or I don't know, something. And there's different red ones over here. Your glyphs, and there are other oh, ones over here. Isn't that wild? I think it's crazy. All right, don't tell anybody I came back here. <laughs> All right, he has to make an appearance. He wanted to say hello. Well, that was great fun. I know you guys who have been with me for a while have seen Red Rock probably a dozen times now. Um, so I apologize for the redundancy, but it never gets tired for me. Um, so, you know, I frequently, I'm always telling you, I don't have any friends. Um, and then I tell you, oh, I'm meeting a friend. Um, Linda was a subscriber of mine. She still is. Uh, and, um, I think we had a chat or two before she um, uh, went to training for her airline. She works for a different airline. Uh, and we've stayed in touch. And um, she's come to Vegas once or twice since. Uh, and um, this is maybe our second or third time meeting up. But um, she has felt like a friend since the minute I started talking to her. So uh, it was really a treat uh, to see her again and Dan. Um, and uh, they had never been out to Red Rock or anything like it. So this was a great opportunity to go for a drive and share something I love deeply with someone I like a lot. Um, I was hoping, beyond hoping, that we would go to Valley of Fire, but um, it really would have been too much. It's like a 45, 50 minute drive each way. 
plus all the time it takes to go around there to really fully appreciate it. So it was a better choice to go to Red Rock today. So it was the right thing you do. Now I'm heading home. Uh, it is 317. That will give me enough time to maybe grab a little bite to eat. Um, give the cat some treats. Take a shower because I feel very dusty. Uh, and then I am going to my... Um, Union holiday party. I don't know what I'll be able to film there, but I'll take you along with me. And um, yeah, so that's next on the docket. So I will see you later. All right, the cats have had their treats and I just took a moment or two to sit here and enjoy my Christmas tree in the afternoon light. I added the new vintage ornaments. I got new vintage. There's that one. I love that one. And that one I added up there, this one, so cool. That one, let's see, this one, I, I added that one. Yeah, I love these new vintage ones. Um, so the tree is looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. Somebody asked me like, how do you decorate your Christmas tree? It looks so nice. I, I had this uh, bead garland I got at Walmart. It's pieces of wood, different colored pieces of wood. Uh, it's supposed to look like popcorn and cranberries, I'm assuming. And then I just, the tree's pre-lit, and so I just put the ornaments wherever I like, and then I have, um, I probably have another hundred, uh, honestly, I probably have another 200 of these plastic icicles. Whenever I see them, I buy them. Eventually, I can see my entire tree being just covered in those icicles, but that is my Christmas tree, and uh, I wish I had time for a shower. I don't, uh, because it is 3.56, and I have to be at the party at 5, so hopefully I'm not too dusty and looking too ragged. I'll brush this out, and then uh, I'll head out. All right, I'll see you later. Ta-da! Here's my little holiday outfit for the union party. We're supposed to wear blue and white in a festive fashion. I'm not quite sure how that's gonna pan out for other people, but this is about as festive as I get. Um, the the shirt is just a little blue and white check number I got yesterday at Marshall's. The tie is a vintage Ralph Lauren tie, a la Goodwill, as is this, well, this isn't Ralph Lauren, this is actually GH Bass. It's a little cashmere zip up thing that is just really nice. I thought it was just wool, but it's ca it turns out it's cashmere. Really nice. I'm wearing my navy blue glasses and I have a white beard. So that's my festive um, blue and white with a pair of navy loafers and some skinny jeans. So that's my outfit. We'll see how else people do festive when I get there. Hey guys, I'm here. Um, it's about 10 past five. So just fashionably late. Um, I'm a little anxious. Actually, I'm a lot anxious. Um, a lot of the cool kids, I, I imagine the cool kids at work, uh, will be here at the union party. And I'm just a little socially anxious. I'm great by myself, maybe with a couple people, but I just, I just don't face social engagements like this with a lot of en uh, enthusiasm. So maybe I'll be fine once I get in there, but I'm a little anxious out here. So what I should probably do is just get in there and face it, right? Um, yeah, so let's go. Ah. Being held at Sierra Gold um, on Jones. Ta -da, let's go in. Okay, let's see, da, da, da. oh, all right, well, oh, there they are, there's the party. Okay, hi, oh, hello. I've eaten until I cannot eat anymore. I had a slider, I had a quesadilla, I had some uh, chips and guac and all that stuff. Fruit and cookies. I am very full. This is the crowd. Ta -da. Pretty much. Hurrah, wraps around. I know like 30% of the people here. It's very, very nice. I uh, feel embarrassed for being uh, awkward earlier, but it's very nice. Oh, 
Well, that was a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I ended up knowing like 40% of the room, which was great. There was a bunch of people there. More than anyone really expected would show up. But um, really, really nice time. They had so much food. I must have had 10 pot stickers and then a pile of fruit. I discovered uh, watermelon with like this chili sauce all over it was absolutely delicious. So I ate like half a watermelon. And then they brought out sliders and they brought out quesadillas and they brought out, um, what is it? When, with the tortilla chips and all the goodies on top. I can't remember what those are called. Uh, nachos, they brought nachos out and then they brought, I mean, they just, oh, pizzas. They kept bringing food out and I kept eating it. Oh my God, I'm so full. They had, they must've had a hundred, like 200 cookies from Crumble. This is one cookie that I'm slowly eating. It's like a caramel turtle cookie. It's so good. Um, although I'm not in love with Crumble's philosophy. Apparently they're suing a whole bunch of people because someone uses a box like theirs. I don't know, but um, really, really nice time. They were doing raffles and some people won some really, really nice prizes. I didn't win and I gave my, my little coupon to somebody in the room. Um, perfect way to make friends is to give your drink coupons and any raffle coupons to other people. They're instantly friends. But um, the best part, the best part, the best part was um, there were four, five, six newcomers new to my airline and um uh five of them at least were like oh my god i watch your videos thank you so much and blah 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 we just had a really nice time chatting um one of oh my god what is her name gorgeous gorgeous woman a little older i don't think she's as old as i am but she had an adult daughter there um she was uh she is she lived in germany for a while i did too she loves to thrift i do too she has a resale business i do too uh there were a number of other things that we hadn't oh she also sold fine jewelry um although she was selling a little finer jewelry than my fine jewelry um in the past just really a lot of similarities we had we had some good times there chatting but um i feel almost intoxicated with a combination of having eaten for five people. And then um, I'm a little tired from our very long day. So I'm gonna try and drive home very safely to my cats. And then tomorrow morning, I have an, a relatively early show for a trip. So um, there you go. Thank you for coming with me on today's trip. I'm going to finish my cookie, which is stuck to my finger, and um, then go home. I will talk to you guys later. Fly safe, bye. Let me reach across the camera here and say goodbye. Bye.